English Patti Mandram and uh, with English debaters and uh, I'm so happy that this is the third edition. Jesus taught his disciples how to pray and Daniel prayed three times a day. Prayer helps us to become one with a father and the kind of relationship Jesus had with him. You know what he said, Jesus prayed. Christian youth, I strongly believe Bible meditation is essential. As my friend rightly said, prayer is communication with God and a link to the Father. But who is God? How do you know the characteristics of God? How do you know he has answered prayers before? Does he answer everyone's prayer? So we need to know what the will of God is and all this knowledge comes from meditating the scriptures. Uncle Moderator, I would like to start by asking you a question. Which one is more important, respiration or eating? I would like to make myself clear. Both are definitely essential, but which one is more essential? Respiration. In John 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the word, everything was created through word. My friend Deborah said that Adam and Eve prayed in the garden. I would like to tell you that there was word in the beginning and it is word that created Adam and Eve. The first thing is, prayer can help us to focus on what is important in our life. For example, as a youth, we can get distracted by many ways. Prayer can help us to get out of that distractions. One more thing I would like to say is, as um, a student who is currently studying psychology, um, there was a research done recently where um, whether it was done on, on Christian's life, whether church prayer or bible reading contributed more to changing their behaviors to changing um, the christian's life which part of it was more important are gathered here today greetings and wishes in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I welcome you all to our Carmel debate and the topic for this evening is um, for a youth's daily Christian walk what is more essential is it a life of prayer or is it a life of Bible meditation so let's hear from the opinions of our young participants and uh, as I call, call them upon the stage, uh, we can give them a, a loud round of applause. So we will start with team A, which will be a life of prayer. We start with Jason Abraham. He's pursuing, he's currently doing his 10th standard. Welcome Jason. And we have Joanna Deborah Praveen, who is currently doing her ninth standard. Welcome, Deborah. And we have Blessy Job Daniel, who is in her first year of BSc Aviation. Welcome, Blessy. Next, we will uh, call upon Team B, and they would be speaking on a life of Bible meditation. So we would, uh, I'd like to call upon Jude Praveen, and he is currently in his 11th standard. Welcome, Jude. Joshua Shalom, who is currently doing his 12th. Welcome, Joshua. And Sherin Stubbs, who is doing her first year BSc Psychology. Welcome, Sherin. Let's give a, a loud round of applause to our participants. Uh, welcome and greet you all in the name of Jesus and now let's time for us to welcome our moderator one of our uh, own Carmelites our family member and an ardent preacher and evangelist we would like to welcome brother Vinod Kumar <laughs> welcome brother and now I would uh, hand it over to our uh, moderator who would uh, start the session. Thank you, Sister Noila. It's uh, wonderful again to be part of uh, English Patti Mandram. And uh, 
with English debaters and uh, I'm so happy that this is the third edition of uh, ever since we started an English Patimandram. I see regular speakers and I see a new debater in blessing and uh, all stressed up. And I all you, I, I, oh, first of all, I all want you to be relaxed. This is not an exam, okay? And uh, if you're just going to read out what you have prepared, then you may not get your marks, okay? So, so we're just uh, encouraging you to be debaters. Uh, then, of course, you have to become preachers, teachers of the Word of God. So feel free, relax, and the thoughts that you have prepared so strenuously, I don't know how many days, how many nights you never slept, and uh, so it's not an exam, it's not an uh, oratory, so you're going to present your thoughts, you're going to defend what the others are going to say, so feel free. Mm, so before you all could talk, so I give my best wishes to one and all. Maybe we can uh, once again give a big round of applause to all the debaters, all the speakers. It's a small crowd, but the small crowd can also give a big round of applause, I think. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So be cheerful. And uh, the topic that we have chosen is uh, truly a very interesting one. I was just thinking, there's one team which is going to say, for youth's daily walk or a daily Christian walk, uh, prayer is uh, very essential. And this other team is going to say, yeah, prayer is there, but more than prayer, uh, knowing the word of God or reading the word of God or much more than that, meditating the word of God is very critical. So these are the thoughts with which uh, this young guns or young ones have come here today. But I was just thinking, uh, the team which is going to say prayer is the key and they also would have uh, you know gone through their uh, bibles well to say which verses to find to say that uh, prayer is the key and i do feel that the other one those who are going to say bible meditation is the key they also would have come with the word of prayer right uh, god help me you should prepare well. I don't know how many times you prayed. Prayed this morning or prayed yesterday. You can't deny. If you say you have never prayed, then people will question, oh, this fellow does not pray. So you are in a dicey situation. So it's like two eyes. Sometimes, you know, uh, if somebody is going to ask, which eye is uh, very special to you, whether it is your left eye or right eye, you know, it's very difficult to answer, right? Can, can anybody say, I, my right eye is more important than my left eye? No. We use both the eyes to see. Same with your uh, both legs. Which leg is important to you? Can I take your left leg or right leg? Would you lend it to me? No. Both are important. So in one way, uh, for everyone, especially for uh, youth, uh, prayer, life of prayer, it's not prayer, it's life of prayer, and it's life of meditating the word of God. Both are very critical. But today, what we are going to discuss, what we are going to arrive, what you are going to find out from what you all have prepared is what is more critical or what is more essential in our daily Christian walk. So it's not the battle between Bible meditation or prayer. Your daily walk. So what I can do daily to grow up in my Christian work, to become a better Christian, to become a better child of God. So these are the thoughts. So I think you have already prepared. So orient your presentation, orient your thoughts accordingly. And uh, we are going to hear, I don't want to take much time. We are already, the train is already running late by almost 45 minutes, I suppose. But anyway, we, there's another program also following that so but we will you prepare you present what you have prepared we will see so prayer and bible reading between this what is more essential in our daily christian work we're going to start so which would with which team we will start we will start with a prayer or we'll start with a word of god so you are word of god yours is prayer so jude is saying that uh, the right thing to begin will be to begin with a prayer. So your team has decided which one is going to speak first. So he's just waiting as to when to shoot the guns. 
so jason uh, debi and uh, blessy they are here to share that uh, prayer is isn't it or is it the word of god are you clear about it i thought it is word of god no prayer okay so you are sure about it okay and here uh, jude uh, joshua and sherin they are going to say more essential is meditating the word of god so with a round of applause i call upon jason maybe we'll give a clap and he's going to present his thoughts uh, towards the direction that says that um, prayer is more important or the life of prayer is more important for youths daily christian walk go ahead jason praise the lord to everyone the topic of today's debate is for a youths daily christian walk very essential is a life of prayer Jesus taught his disciples how to pray and Daniel prayed three times a day. Jesus prayed in the garden of Gethsemane and on the and on the cross in the times of trouble called upon in times of uh, trouble as Jesus uh, Jesus did prayer is essential. Prayer helps us to become one with a father and the kind of relationship Jesus had with him. In Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer of supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to god in this verse is clearly stated do everything by prayer if you see in matthew chapter 7 verse 7 ask it ask it and shall it be given to you in many passages uh, that reference uh, prayer use the word ask in matthew chapter 6 uh, verse 9 to 13 um the lord's prayer is there there it is known by everyone in psalms uh, chapter 66 verse 19 if we see the verse it says that but uh, verily god hath heard me and attend to the voice of the, my prayer for a christian youth this is uh, the confidence god hath heard my prayer it is so personal that is real strength for many youths in many times of their voice is not heard by their father or mother or their friends they lose all their hopes and confidence and prayer helps uh, to regain their confidence and their hopes prayer is something you can feel lord near by us you can pour all your anxiety and sorrow and the lord will give you replies to your prayer it is a two uh, two way communication you feel bonded when you pray and that's why i say prayer prayer is very essential you can pray wherever you are in exam hall classroom or office or wherever you think you, you're going your prayer is essential it is an interpersonal relationship with god i repeat it is an interpersonal relationship with god even if you don't have anyone to help you with the scriptures or need to be intellect or a learned person to pray and it clearly says in psalms uh, uh, chapter 6 verse 9 lord will receive my prayer i would like to conclude by saying uh, for the youth prayer is more essential than bible reading pray 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 thank you can we give a round of applause for jason thank you jason uh, that's wonderful that's a good to begin with you know what he said jesus prayed what we read in the bible is a life of prayer Uh, jesus prayed all night and jesus went to the mount to pray so take the example of jesus christ first and uh, uh, maybe he's saying we don't read anywhere jesus opening and reading his bible or meditating you know what jew joshua i don't know how they are going to so we have to take jesus as a role model and uh, jesus taught his disciples to pray not to meditate on the word of god that's what he's trying to say and uh, whenever uh, you know wherever you can pray probably in an exam hall when you are writing your exam uh, you can't open your bible and meditate so the easy thing is to just pray so he lets out a great secret uh, i don't know how it's going to be defended uh, only those who are learned those who know the bible can meditate but jason is really you know uh, there's a shot in the arm for you all he saying that uh, prayer is the key and he repeatedly ended by saying that pray 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 everything will work out well 
So I do hope uh, who's going to reply. So Jude will come with a prayer to answer that meditating is the key. So with a round of applause, I invite Jude who is going to defend, who is going to say that more than prayer, reading the word of God is more essential. Go ahead, Jude. Praise the Lord to one and one present here, respected moderator and my fellow church members. So for today's topic, um, for youth's daily Christian walk, very essential is Bible meditation. So I believe Bible meditation is very important because, wait, first I would like to contradict uh, Jason's point. Um, I just like to ask, from where did you get all these verses? There's, there's one thing I would like to ask you. And okay, first point, a youth should know the will of God. Um, the, the stage in a youth's life is, is very important, it's very precious. Um, it's a stage where the youth stand on crossroads. A time where the youth has to make right choices and his experience can't teach him anything. And, and uh, during the youth stage, a youth would not want to learn from his experience. It's an awkward stage, yes. So for a Christian youth, I strongly believe Bible meditation is essential. As my friend rightly said, prayer is communication with God and a link to the Father. But who is God? How do you know the characteristics of God? How do you know he has answered prayers before? Does he answer everyone's prayer? Um, how do you know what you should pray for? Um, to pray, you need the knowledge of who God is. And only when praying according to his will, does he answer our prayers. So we need to know what the will of God is. And all this knowledge comes from meditating the scriptures. And nowadays, why is, the, why is Christianity far from the truth? Um, Christianity is far from the truth because they pray according to their own will. Um, for example, they say, Lord, make New York the capital of England. Lord, let my teacher fall sick so that I, will, uh, I can be absent to school. I don't have to write the test. Um, and uh, an example which a pastor quotes very often, Lord, give me a girl according to your heart, but let that be the Esther I love. This kind of adulterated prayer that emerges uh, because we do not know the will of God. So Bible meditation helps us pray right and know the will of God. Second point. For a Christian youth, Bible, Bible meditation is very essential because it gives them eternal life. John chapter 5 verse 39 says, search the, search the scriptures, for in them you have eternal life. And our ultimate goal is heaven, that is eternal life. Could there be something more important? Well, I don't think so. Prayer, it will strengthen you, it will help you communicate with God. But our ultimate goal of reaching heaven would be attained only when you meditate the scriptures. The third point I would like to say is taken from Matthew chapter 21 verse 22. Jesus talks about a prayer of faith. But where does faith come? In Romans chapter 10 verse 17 we read that the faith comes from the word of God. To pray you need faith and faith comes from the word of God. So I believe word of God is way more essential than prayer. Um, okay. The fourth point is Psalms chapter 19 verse 92. David says, if not for your, for your word, I would have been perished in my afflictions. In, in one's youth, I am very sure that there will be a lot of afflictions, pressures, difficulties, um, peer pressures especially, turmoil, and it all comes towards the youth. But David, who is always praising and praying, makes a strong confession that meditating God's word delivers from perishing afflictions. Um, so why do some Christians commit suicide crimes and they don't... And, well, that's because they don't meditate on words God. God's word does not take the root in them. Mm, okay. I would like to conclude by saying that Bible meditation is more essential for youth Christian walk, uh, Christian walk of life. So, compared to prayer. Thank you. That's good, Jude. We'll give a round of applause to Jude for his thoughts. Great, Jude. And um, yes, search the scriptures. In there you have eternal life. Why do we pray? In you know, at the end, do we pray for exams? Do we pray for uh, you know health? At the end of the day, you have to attain eternal life. So what Jude is about to say that uh, Bible is saying, Word of God is saying, search the scriptures. If you are going to pray without searching the scriptures, what is the point? You are not going to go to heaven itself. Your only life will go in prayer, prayer, prayer. That's because you have not searched the scriptures. So how do you know God? It's only by knowing or probably meditating the word of God. 
So he doesn't say that prayer is not needed, but pray, but knowing the word of God or meditating the word of God. So at this point of time, it looks like uh, meditating the word of God seems to take uh, an upper hand, but the battle is still not over. We still have, uh, uh, wow, Debbie and Blessy to defend. I don't know how, whether they're going to tear all the arguments into pieces now. So with a round of applause, I invite Debbie. <laughs> Clap your hands. And Debbie is going to say, no, my brother Jude, it is prayer. Go ahead, Debbie. Dear Pastor, Pastor Ma, Moderate Uncle Vinod, Teachers, Prayer Warriors from my team, Bible Meditators from my opponent, opposite team, sitting here and praying for God's mercy to win this debate. Greetings to you all. I stand before you to speak on the topic, prayer is more essential for a youth for their daily walk of life. Uncle Moderator, I would like to start by asking you a question. Which one is more important, respiration or eating? I would like to make myself clear, both are definitely essential, but which one is more essential? Respiration. Since Bible science says we can, we can still remain alive for 40 days without eating, but will die if we don't breathe for more than few seconds. I strongly believe prayer is life, it is breath. It is very much essential for life. Even in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve were trained by God. They used to wait for God to talk to, him, talk to them. How glorious it used to be. We don't, see, we don't see they were sitting and meditating the scriptures. They didn't even have scriptures with them at that time. Even today, not everyone has scriptures in their own language. Not everyone has scriptures. Not everyone can read and understand. But everyone can pray. Though the scriptures are given for us, they are powerful, but most important is prayer. I feel that's why, that's why Jesus thought time and again to teach his disciples how to pray. We don't see him teaching them how to meditate the scriptures. Firstly, I would like to start by saying, prayer is a sweet communion with God. When we read and meditate God's word, we know, we know more about the mind of God, the will of God, his rules and regulations, but how will we tell him we love him? How will, how will we feel his presence? How will we tell him all our problems? So prayer establishes a beautiful relationship where we can talk to him. Second, prayer makes us holy. When we know we have sinned, what do we do? We confess our sins and pray asking for, for, asking for God's forgiveness. How much ever we meditate on God's word, if we don't confess our sins, we, we could never receive forgiveness. Then we have, we have to forget heaven. So prayer is more important. Third, Bible meditation is for us. But as a Christian youth, it is not right to be selfish. We should pray for others, for, an, for unsaved, for the sick, for the lost. That is our responsibility. John Knox prayed, prayer, Lord, Give me Scotland or else I die. Today, Scotland is saved. For us, Scotland is saved. Sitting in a corner, we can meditate God's word. That is a strength for us. But believe me, it is more essential for us to stand in the gap. If it's not you, then who? Fourth, uncle, I would like to ask my friends from the opposite team, what do you do before you read the Bible? You pray asking God to speak to you, right? What do you do after you read the Bible? You ask God to give you the grace to follow his word. You thank him for speaking to you. I strongly believe Bible meditation is like a, st is like a seed. Prayer is the dew that waters the seed to make it grow. Otherwise, the seed would be dormant. Ask me how and I'll tell you now. The father of our nation, Gandhiji, the former chief minister of Tamil Nadu, late Karnani Diya, used to read five chapters every day. But we couldn't see salvation complete in them. Not to judge anyone. A tree is known by its fruit. I would like to conclude my speech by empathetically registering that for a Christian youth, the most essential for daily living is prayer, prayer, prayer. Thank you. Give a great round of applause to Debbie. So much she spoke, but one thing 
ஐ கான் எச் அவுட் ஃப்ரம் மை மைண்ட் பேச்சு போச்சுன்னா மூச்சு போச்சு ஷி ஹாஸ் மீ வாட் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபார் மீ வெதர் இட் இஸ் ப்ரீதிங் ஆர் வேர்ட் ஆஃப் காட் ஆர் ப்ராப்ளி ஐ டோன்ட் வாட் ஷி செட் ஈட்டிங் ப்ரீதிங் ஆர் ஈட்டிங் அண்ட் என் மூச்சு போயிடக்கூடாது மை பிரெத் கோஸ் ஐ கான் பி ஸ்பீக்கிங் so prayer is like a breathing that's what she says and um, and so many examples she quoted and uh, i don't know how many of you are uh, every day reading five chapters from today start reading at least 10 chapters otherwise we will go in the list of mahatma gandhi or somebody else so i was really stunned okay so she is also giving a message don't leave with five chapters those who read five chapters a day they couldn't get saved so if at all you are reading a bible read well let it be more than five chapters a day that was on a lighter vein so as she was talking about in the life of prayer we pray for others as well though even though the topic is about your growth in the christian walk your growth also involves praying for others So if you're going to read your Bible, meditate, it's only going to be for you. You will grow, you will develop, but prayer is a universal language. We can pray for anybody, anytime, and it also makes me holy. So that was a very strong argument from the prayer team, and I think they have really prayed well to put this across. And uh, now it's the turn of uh, Joshua. Uh, to give a rebuttal to what all uh, Debbie has said. So with a great round of applause, I invite Josh to share his thoughts. And he's going to say, no, it's not prayer, it's only Bible meditation, which is more essential for daily Christian walk of a youth. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I greet the moderator, Vinod Uncle, and our uh, dear audience the opposite team members who think prayer is more important for a christian life and my dear team members who think bible meditation is more important for a christian life in john 1 1 says in the beginning was the word everything was created through word my friend deborah said that adam and eve prayed in the garden i would like to tell you that there was word in the beginning and it is word that created adam and eve so meditation word of god is more 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 and i'm going to uh, say that i think that uh, bible meditation is more important because it is a catalyst for spiritual growth and bible reading and meditation in solitude has more impact on a person's spiritual growth and she said that the disciples asked to the jesus that teach us to pray and jesus also taught them how to pray however when jesus encountered satan in the wilderness he came he overcame the enemy by saying that man shall not live by bread only but every word that proceed out of the mouth of god We see three instances how Jesus overcame the wiles of the enemy through God's word. Jesus gives an illustration in Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 of who is a wise man, a man that hears and does the word of God. Therefore, I would like to conclude by reading is good is food for a spirit man. A young Christian cannot grow in Christ without knowing God's word. Bible reading is the most important part of a Christian's life. just like food is important for physical growth thank you give a give a hand clap to josh for his thoughts as well and thank you joshua but he said um, man does not live by prayer alone so nicely he has uh, changed the bible verse to suit himself it is not uh, the prayer which is mentioned there man does not live by bread alone so i don't know whether uh, debbie said uh, respiration is prayer probably now joshua is saying uh, food or probably bread is prayer okay so there the context is not about prayer if you look at uh, uh, the whole incident jesus uh, was spending time in prayer okay this is for audience as well as uh, 
young team members also he was actually spending time 40 days it was prayer as we understand fasting and praying and it's only after prayer that he came out and he was able to answer his point is right but it is not uh, Jesus came out after a season of prayer uh, to say that word to say that word so I would like to correct that prayer has got its place and uh, yes as Joshua was mentioning unless you know the word of God unless you know the will of God unless you know how to pray for what all reasons to pray uh, you may your prayer life will be blank so that's just a short and sweet thought and my congratulations to Joshua as well now who else uh, the last batsman in from this team and a strong batsman I suppose it is uh, give a round of applause to Blessy as she's going to finally defend all the thoughts and uh, I think she's going to put an end to all the argument that says that Bible reading it's prayer. Go ahead, Jesse. Go ahead, Blessing. A very good evening to one and all present here. I'm here to talk about for a youth's daily Christian, very essential is life of prayer. Prayer is very important thing in our life, right? I'm here to tell the benefits of prayer, which leads us to walk in our daily lives. The first thing is, prayer can help us to focus on what is important in our life. For example, as a youth, we can get distracted by many ways. Prayer can help us to get out of that distractions. Prayer can help us to stay hopeful in dark times. And prayer can help us to feel connected to God on a deeper level. And prayer can help us to deal with difficult emotions and situations. For example, if we are in a difficult situation, while we are praying, prayer will give us strength and peace. Prayer can find us a comfort place with God. Prayer can help us to develop a stronger relationship with God. And prayer can help us to become more compassionate with people. Prayer can give us strength during difficult times. And prayer can keep our minds and thoughts clear. We will have peace, and peace in our heart and mind while we are in prayer time. Prayer is the way of communicating with God and asking for guidance and support in our lives. Prayer can only do anything because of who Jesus Christ is. He is the one who can help us to focus on what we are doing. Prayer can give us comfort, healing, strength, purpose and so much more. Prayer is important if we want to grow deeper and deeper in walk with our Jesus. Thank you. Give a hand clap and uh, that's wonderful Blessy and she gave a wonderful discourse or uh, elicited what a prayer can do in our life and what more you need. It gives us strength, it gives, uh, makes us compassionate, uh, it makes us strong, it makes us holy as others were saying. So on these the requirements, this is what uh, we need for uh, anybody, leave alone young people, young men to grow in the Lord. So if prayer can make us strong, prayer can make us holy, uh, why is there really a need to spend hours together in meditating the word of God? And somebody said prayer is, you know, connecting. So it's like a Wi-Fi, it is like an internet connection where you instantly get connected with the Lord. It's a two-way communication system. So why, you know, break our head going into Bible when we don't know many of the passages when we cannot understand so probably that's the that's the uh, you know argument and they have got uh, the life of jesus to also share that uh, he spent a lot of time in prayer so that concludes we look at jesus jesus prayed a lot and we're also going to pray the lord jesus was the son of man son of god and he overcame satan at the end of the prayer time so what is up to you? That's what uh, the challenge with this team and Blessy has put into sharing and who's going to close the whole argument by saying no. It is the Bible reading or meditation which is more essential for a Christian's walk. Can we give a big round of applause and invite, I invite Sherin to share her concluding thoughts from this point. 
Um, praise the Lord to everyone gathered here. I would like to extend a warm welcome to um, the moderator, Uncle Vinod, praise the Lord, and to my fellow opponents and my teammates, praise the Lord. Um, so, uh, for a youth, daily Christian walk is a, prayer, is a life of prayer more important than Bible reading. Well, yes, um, Bible reading is way more important. Bible meditation is way more important. Um, the word of God, the first point is the word of God is our only defense against the attack of the enemy. Now, um, let's take the life of Jesus for example. Uh, many of, um, I think Debbie said that Jesus was praying and through prayer he was able to overcome. But even though Jesus was fasting, even though he was praying, when he was tempted by the enemy, he immediately quoted the word of God which means he was already meditating on it. He was already, it was already written in the tables of his heart. Like the psalmist says, um, write your, uh, the psalmist says, okay, I can't quote the word, but um, it, it comes in the book of Psalms as well. Even chap Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17 says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Out of all the armors of God mentioned in Ephesians chapter 6, the word of God is the only weapon which we can actively use against the enemy. Um, then, a Christian life should be firm in God's word so that they so as they won't be deceived by false doctrines yes you can pray you sh you can um continuously um pray wherever you are you can pray for your friends you can pray for everyone around you you can be um you can do whatever um p god puts in your heart but how do you know if what how do you how are you able to discern between the right teachings between um between what is correct, what is written in, in God's word, when you're not meditating on it, when you're not, when you don't know it fully. Most of the Christians um, are prone to, you know, going astray because they don't really know what is written in God's word. They don't pay attention to meditating on it, to trying to understand it. And so, yes, in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 and 4, it comes, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but, af but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. So yes, you will be prone to going into false doctrines or into false teachings if, you're not truly, if you don't truly really know what the word of God says and how the word of God um, directs um, a Christian's life. And then third, the word of God cleanses the heart of man and redirects him on the right path. Yes, prayer too helps in that. But in Psalms 119 verses 9, it says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed thereto according to thy word. In verse number 11, it says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. I will also like to throw light on Hebrews chapter 4 verses 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing as under of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrows, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So yes, when you read God's word, God communicates directly to a man's heart. He, 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 he communicates directly to your inner thoughts and your inner desires. He warns you about sin. He warns you about... Um, the difficulties on your path in this life and he proclaims the exact way you ought to lead your life um, one more thing I would like to say is as um, a student who is currently studying psychology um, there was a research done recently where um, whether it was done on on Christians life whether church prayer or Bible reading contributed more to changing their behaviors to changing um, the Christian's life, which part of it was more important or which showed more um, changes. So the results showed that people who engaged in their Bible reading, who read their Bibles at least four times a day, they showed to have 59 percentage less, they were 59 percentage less to indulge in viewing pornography or any other sexual sins or anything for that matter. Um, and 30 percentage less likely to struggle with loneliness. They were 288 percentage more likely to share their faith. Um, 
And this research was not done among Christians or among the Christian community. It was done purely by atheists, by scientists alone. And whereas the study done by PRE, it showed to have, uh, people showed to have a decline about 20 percentage, there were 20 percentage less um, in all these um, habits. They decline, you, if, you, if you compare both, you will see Bible reading has a more um, higher percentage. Um, and Psalms 119 verses 1 or 5 says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Um, yeah, so I would like to summarize by this. Yes, Jesus taught us how to pray. Um, but if you look at um, the prayer which Jesus said, um, or the prayer which Jesus taught his disciples, it was still in line with the word of God. And as my teammate says, Yes, we were created by the word of God um, and the word of God gives us eternal life. It gives us that hope which we need along our path. Um, so I would like to conclude with this. Thank you. With a round of applause, give a good hand clap, not just for Shireen. And I want a warm applause for all the participants today. Before we conclude, I share my concluding remarks. Uh, the, the problem is that very few audience scattered here and there and you don't want to encourage uh, the children who have uh, taken so much of pain. So only this crowd you have to again clap <laughs> for them, clap again and those uh, will encourage them. Uh, it's a good thing, good preparation and uh, as both of them were saying, uh, neither of the team, uh, you know they are not saying that, uh, uh, they are not against either this team, either team which, uh, which is speaking for uh, Bible meditation or the one which is vying on prayer, either of them, they are not against prayer or they are not against uh, the Bible meditation. And uh, as uh, uh, Sherin was saying, uh, yes, the Lord taught us to pray, but uh, more important than that is what some of the verses that she mentioned from Psalm 1 and 19, uh, that emphasizes that uh, knowing, reading, meditating, understanding the word of God in fact makes us strong and probably makes our prayer strong. And uh, from Psalm 119, many verses uh, Sherin quoted, Psalm 119, 28 says, My soul melted for heaviness, strengthen thou me according unto thy word. This is actually a prayer. Psalmist is praying, strengthen thou me. Is it not a prayer? Is it not a prayer? It is a prayer. He's asking the Lord, strengthen thou me. But how? According unto thy word. So Psalmist is declaring, the one who wrote Psalm 119, many verses, uh, child Sherin quoted, but the same, in the, within that same psalm, it's not only here, in many other places, the psalmist is crying out to the Lord. He knows, he knows the statutes, he knows the uh, you know, commandments, he knows the precepts, he knows what is what. But nevertheless, a time comes where he says, strengthen me, O Lord. It is a prayer. So he knows that however much I know the word of God, I have to depend on God. I have to talk to God. I have to give the strength. He doesn't say, yeah, I know the word. I know everything. And uh, it's a treasure chest, uh, 119, Psalm 119. The whole of Psalm 119 uh, speaks about actually uh, word of God or probably commandments, precepts. But if you look carefully into that, you see a lot of prayers interspersed. His prayer is not uh, our Father which art in heaven. He's just talking to God, Lord help me, strengthen me. So his, it is a prayer. So my dear children, audience, as I said, it is like two eyes. It is very difficult to judge between two. Uh, every day what we do, we, it's a daily work as we were discussing. What we do every day, more than anything, we eat every day, right? Without eating, breathing is something, you know, that is there. Uh, without consciously, without unconsciously, we keep breathing. But uh, when you get up every day, what you do? You eat. Unless you eat, 
right you see you skip your food for 10 days you skip your food for 5 days breathing is there and uh, somebody said breathing is uh, prayer but you are breathing one day two day three day four day fifth day in jesus himself stopped this fasting on 40th day and the bible says that uh, he hungered right and uh, he had a thirst even after at the end of 40th day so his fast ended so he wanted to eat something yes he did stood against the temptation of the devil but he hungered so we eat every day breathing is there but can we just live we are talking about not one day we are not talking about two day we are talking about daily it's like you know a teen grows to be an adult maybe a senior but he has to grow he has to grow he has to grow keep growing so what contributes for that the bible says i mean jesus said by not by bread alone but by every word and uh, in other many other faces places it say the word of god is a bread it's a food that we eat so without eating the food every day will we be able to survive so here is a challenge the one who wrote psalm 119 he himself is praying he could have just declared there is a word of god that strengthens me why should i pray because i know the word and the one who has written so much but why does it depend on prayer so if you look at 119 28 what would we say is it the prayer or is it his knowledge of the word of god that strengthened him both ways jesus said yes of course somebody quoted and all things what so ever you shall ask in prayer believing you shall receive yes the steam voted for that jesus said very simply what all you need in life just ask isn't it somebody said ask prayer is just asking ask in prayer and you shall receive isn't it the verse just ends there but jesus also says in john 15:7 if you abide in me and my words abide in you you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you so which verse is more important it was if, if something was said by paul then we can say the word of jesus was important no both were said by both were quoted by lord jesus so how do we understand as to which one we should give importance to more bible reading five chapters 10 chapters 20 chapters reading 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 meditating or spending more time in prayer my friends how much time you can spend in prayer you can get up in the morning either you are students or uh, you are uh, maybe college graduation school what do you do you you pray in the morning maybe in the afternoon maybe in the night that's a routine prayer at this point of time at this age that you do you don't get you have your studies you have your college you have your school to attend to that's how but what is meditating we need to understand what is actually meditating meditating is not just that 5 minutes if you look at psalm 11 it says day and night whose way shall prosper the first part speaks about the company the company he should avoid psalm 11 and the second part speaks about the one who meditates on his law and the word of god day and night have you ever wondered how can somebody meditate on the law day and night when i have to go to school when i have to go to college when i have every right isn't it how can i be meditating if you are meditating then your teacher will ask you what were you doing yesterday jude you are meditating the whole day and you can't can, can you tell your ma'am no uh, we had a uh, you know debate and uh, the moderator or my pa my mom or my pastor told me that meditation is important so i kept meditating meditating then what about your subjects on meditating is more important 
so i keep kept the bible open kept on reading it so what is basically meditating it's not just reading 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 it could be one verse it could be one scripture it could be one word that goes into your mind that plays into your mind about it you keep on thinking consciously the whole day that is meditating remembering it the whole day so that seems to be possible rather than uh, you know you can't uh, at this point of time you can't think of praying for you know five hours six hours right at your age at your level there is a limitation somebody said yet there's a limitation but meditating is not knowing all the word of god meditating what you know thinking more about it contemplating more about it taking it more into your heart daily walk daily prayer daily prayer is important but daily bible reading without meditation it's i mean it's not about bible reading we are talking about here friends be very clear your daily bible reading has its place but do you meditate on it do you think about it the one who wins in psalm 11 let me repeat is the one who meditates his way shall proper and somebody mentioned it uh in uh, ecclesiastes 412 it says that uh, remember the creator in the days of your youth but if you look at psalm 119 as sherin quoted your ways are cleansed only when you know the word of god not just the word of god when you understand when you apply it when you meditate when you meditate you will go and ask your mummy your father your da your pastor or your sunday school teacher what is this verse about what does it teach me how can i apply it to my life it's you know you don't leave it unless it becomes personal to you unless you begin to apply in your life it's not blah 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 reading most of the bible at this age you may not understand everything but what you understand if you read and if you think more about it that will be your strength and i'm going to conclude prayer sometimes can make us weak as they say no all work and no play makes jack a dull boy so sometimes we i have seen personally in my experience and the experience of others they pray for so many things but when it doesn't happen they get so bogged down they get so distressed right maybe at your age uh, you may not go through the but you're going to grow up in life you should be you should have a strong fundamental uh, even the psalmist who wrote 119 he says psalm 35 14 my prayer written to my bosom i prayed all how can i don't know i prayed but my prayer written to my bosom which means i am praying 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 nothing happen i am getting back my prayer but in psalm 39 3 he says you know my heart it was a it, is a, it speaks about meditation I, i was i st- i was stirred up in my heart when i began to meditate when i began to meditate so the same psalmist who said prayer made me weak is also saying the word of god the meditation of the word of god really stirred me up before i conclude before i share the verdict as to which is stronger whether it is prayer i would probably say it's like a you know sandwich uh somebody asked what did you do before reading the word of god you prayed right so just a bread without a cheese uh, in between it's not a fuse you begin with a prayer you close with a prayer but let there should be something in between that makes the food tasty that is word of god and just imagine you've got a you, you've you've gone to a foreign nation and uh, it's a new country for you a beautiful car or an expensive luxurious car is waiting for you uh, call it as a porsche or a rd car or what i don't know the names it's a luxurious car is waiting and it's a new country you have gone into and uh, there is also a a driver waiting to take you but uh, he is a very good driver hmm? he is a very good driver and you got a wonderful car also 
and you have entered into that uh, town but you have to travel from one place to other place and uh, there's a driver there you have a vehicle you have your own car but you don't have the route you don't have the google map you don't have the direction so what is the use on the other hand you have google map and uh, you have your own car luxurious car you have a google map in your hand and you are there but driver is not there what would you do what is the use of car car is your life google map speaks about the word of god driver is the prayer you need the driver you need the word of god but which one would you say is more essential word of god uh, sorry google map or the direction map navigation or is it uh, the you know experienced driver both are important let me conclude pray for the eyes to be open to know the lord to all young men take attention if you like i'd like to share these things what came to my mind pray how to pray as you grow up pray for eyes to be open to know the lord that's how you should begin your day or walk 119 psalm 119 18 prepare a plan of action for your daily bible reading begin with the reading you may not understand everything pick up a verse or a word or a promise for your reading and keep it in mind ponder over the same during your free time pin it into your mind to do follow obey trust what is being said pen down your thoughts questions and observations probe it further involving your parents teachers pastors and whatever you discuss profess with your friends and family members persuade your friends to join for a group bible study and as i began with a prayer i'm going to conclude this 10 step study with a prayer pray for the spirit of god to guide you in all the truth to guide you in all the truth there is a door and everybody is knocking at the door open 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 prayer people are praying 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 dum 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 there's but one fellow comes why are you do knocking at the door there is a key down there he just picks up the key opens it and enters inside it is not uh, whether he is smart he knows the key and the key is found in the word of god otherwise you lonely be knocking at the door for uh, the door's key is already in your hand many of us don't open the key don't know that there is a key and still keep knocking 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 and their prayers are not answered so i would say at this young age don't leave prayer never never undermine prayer you are here we are here everyone is here because of prayer of somebody we are today living because of a prayer of somebody never undermine prayer prayer is like beautifully she somebody said it's the breath of life but we are talking about growing up every day daily christian walk what is more important i said eating i said bread so your bread your eating is your word of god keep meditating continue to meditate that will keep you in good stead so i'd like to conclude congratulating both of them for a huge daily christian walk prayer is in essential prayer is important prayer is inevitable prayer is unavoidable prayer is the key but i would say more essential something which you cannot do without it like a food for your on you know for your onward living is your bible meditation bible meditation and bible meditation thank you so much and my best wishes to both of you continue to pray continue to read continue to meditate god bless you all god bless you all thank you for the opportunity so the it ends and you can uh, disperse from this place thank you all thank you all thank you brother and thank you um 
participants thank you for uh, your contributions and yes so as we summarize prayer and bible reading is very important for your christian walk anyways let's close our eyes and uh, with a word of prayer lord jesus we praise and thank you we worship you lord jesus we thank you for this wonderful time that you have given us oh lord jesus we thank you for oh lord jesus the opportunity that our children had oh father god to ponder oh lord jesus and to help them Lord today we pray oh Lord Jesus we pray for our children oh Lord and we pray that they would walk in your ways oh Father God and that they would be led by your spirit oh Lord Jesus and that they would have uh, they would they would commune with you oh Lord Jesus today we surrender this entire debate into your loving hands and we thank you with all our heart and we thank you oh Lord Jesus for all this time in Jesus name we pray amen thank you everyone